Welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to look at allocating payments we've made to suppliers to purchase invoices. Um, so let's go to bank. We'll click on supplier. Make sure the bank account is highlighted. Um, the bank account you wish the payments to come out from. Or you can change that up here. We're going to use concept stationary supplies. You'll see that there's a number of invoices on their account. We put them in date order by clicking date. PI for purchase invoice. You can also get PA, which will be a payment on account. And also PC, which will be a purchase credit. So make sure the date is correct. Put the check number in or backs. First of all, we're just going to pay the oldest invoice. So say we wrote a check out, put the check number in. We'll click in the payment box of the invoice we wish to pay. So this is invoice number 17. Click pay in full. You'll notice that amount is taken up to this check box up here. Click save and that invoice will be paid. We bring them up again. The invoice is now gone from the top there. It was invoice number 17. So let's do another one. This time we're going to pay a number of invoices in one go. Um, and we'll do backs this time. So say we want to pay, let's say, six invoices. Um, the oldest six. We do the same as we did before, but we click the pay in full six times. So we make six payments against these invoices and the total will be added up here and put up here automatically. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the six oldest invoices paid in full. You'll see the amount is up there and there. Let's click save and again, and that's now done. Let's bring them up again. So what happens if you just want to pay a set amount, so you want to pay £500 to a supplier, um, not any particular invoices, just a set figure. Um, put the date in, um, this could be a love a check, so we wrote them a check for £500. Put 500 in, make sure they're in date order because that 500 will allocate that uh, Sage will allocate that 500 from the oldest invoice back and it will think the oldest invoice is the one at the top so make sure it's in date order this time I'm going to click automatic and it will automatically allocate that 500 to the oldest invoice forward and so click pay in full, uh, automatic sorry, click automatic you'll see that it paid the, li the oldest one in full the next oldest in full, the next oldest in full then the fourth oldest had a value of 44250. Obviously, there wasn't enough money to cover that after paying the other invoices, so it's just allocated the rest of the 500 against that, which is 24820. Hopefully, this is making sense. Can you contact me if not? Click save. Let's bring them up again. Okay. If you want to make a payment on account and not allocate an invoice, I'm not sure why you would do that, but you can do that. Um, but I want to show you because I want to show how you can allocate it after. Um, so let's say another £500 was made. We're not going to allocate it against anything. Just click save. It'll ask you if you want to do the payment on account. Click yes. Bring them up again. You'll notice now that there's this 500 PA at the bottom here. Now to allocate this payment on account, just click pay in full. And then go from the oldest back if they're the invoices you want to pay. Um, just keep clicking pay in full. You'll see that this figure is coming down and will finally reach zero. Okay, so we have 35.16 remaining to allocate if we click on this invoice which is the next one put 3516 this is now zero it'll let us save so 
let's click save and that will be that 500 allocated to the rest of the purchase invoices let's bring them up again only a few invoices remaining now say we wanted to clear the account buybacks we can just click pay in full that's how much it will cost that's how much is outstanding on their account 219684 click save that's now gone and their account will be empty hopefully that has made sense I try and make these videos as quick as possible but if I ever go over anything too quickly just get in contact with me and I'll try and help you thank you so much for watching this is the bookkeeping master on YouTube www.bpfs that's bravo papa foxtrot sierra hyphen online dot com